Mark. Thank you very much. It's really a great day uh, to be here in, in the Juniata shops, and um, I don't want to screw up the choreography, so I'm supposed to look to my right, put my hand out. It's magic. I was really concerned if I launched into something before I did that, that I'd screw everything up, so we'll make sure we get the uh, NS999. And I have to ask the question, 999, is that just the number that came up, or is it? It sounded really good. Okay, sorry, sorry. I just looked back at Mark and said how quiet it was, and he said if it wasn't for the darn bell, you wouldn't be able to hear it. So it really is fantastic compared to other uh, the sounds of other locomotives that uh, that you hear. Uh, first, I want to welcome the Secretary of Transportation to here, uh, Secretary LaHood. Uh, he uh, he and I have gone back eight years. Uh, I served in the House of Representatives with uh, with the Secretary for eight years, and I'm going to say it before somebody else does. He probably in his first term or two in Congress probably got a few pointers from Bud Schuster on transportation because he did serve on the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. So uh, I, like the Secretary, uh, easy to get advice from Bud Schuster, but I'm sure you don't have the same problem as I have. He calls me whenever he wants to give me advice, not when I call him, which is what I'm sure your situation is. But it really is uh, uh, great to be here today and to have the Secretary here for, for such a fantastic uh, unveiling. Uh, this is, as, as Mark mentioned, a partnership, a public-private partnership. Uh, he mentioned some of the folks, uh, obviously, Norfolk Southern, Penn State University, the Department of Transportation, the Federal Railroad Administration, and the U.S. Uh, Department of Energy. And I might add in there, uh, when you talk about Penn State University, you have to mention the state, and I just want to acknowledge that the chairman of the, uh, of the State House uh, Transportation Committee, Rick Geist, is here with us today. Rick, thank you for being here, and thanks for your uh, years of uh, service to the transportation industry in Pennsylvania. So I just see in the back, I just want to make sure everybody knows the mayor of Altoona, Wayne Hibble, is here. Wayne, thanks for coming out today on a big, big occasion. As I said, this is a public-private partnership, and uh, funding came from the public and the private industry. Uh, we were fortunate enough in the, uh, in the 2008, 2009, and we believe in the 2010 uh, appropriations process to get funding uh, for this project. Uh, 600,000 in 08, 700,000 in 09, and we believe it's going to be a million dollars as we go forward into the 010 or the 2010 uh, appropriations process to keep this uh, keep this rolling, as well as money from the Federal Railroad Administration to the tune of $700,000. Uh, the total federal investment it's going to be uh, is $2 million now, and that's not including what's what's going to come in the future. And of course, Norfolk Southern uh, put $2 million uh, towards this project. Uh, because they know the benefit of it. And uh, this is uh, technology that's going to uh, be able to be used, uh, as, as Mark said, to reduce uh, their dependency, our dependency on, uh, on foreign oil, as well as, uh, as a clean uh, locomotive, an electric locomotive, as I said, uses the batteries, doesn't uh, rely on, uh, on fossil fuels. And this, change, this will change rail transportation in this country because it does reduce, it will help to reduce our dependency on foreign oil and it creates better air quality. So again, uh, this is a win-win situation for all of us, but most importantly, I believe here today, it's a win-win situation for the men and women who work here in the Juniata shops, uh, who work for uh, Norfolk Southern. Uh, puts you on the cutting edge of technology. Uh, the next phase, which we hope to roll out uh, two additional prototypes, and they'll be built right here in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Uh, so that will benefit the over 900 quality 
employees that work here. Uh, they get up every day and, and just do a fantastic job uh, making sure that the Juniata shops and Norfolk Southern are an important part of our transportation system, but the Juniata shops, are, it strengthens your position in the Norfolk Southern system. So we want to make sure you keep doing that good work. Uh, as I said, uh, this will not only benefit Norfolk Southern, but it will benefit the rail industry in general because this technology will be available to others uh, in, the, uh, in the rail industry and around the world, and we hope that the folks here in Juniata will be building those locomotives for the future. So great work to the employees, the workforce here. Uh, thanks for all that you do. And finally, uh, it's my great privilege and honor to introduce the Secretary of Transportation, who, as I mentioned, I served eight years in the House of Representatives with, but he served 14 years uh, total in the House, uh, a few years, a few terms on the TNI Committee, and then as an appropriator. And he's really been a partner uh, for the past eight years for me, not only as Secretary of Transportation, but when you go through the appropriations process, you need appropriators to approve uh, the money that, that comes back to your district. And I might add, I forgot to mention, this is an earmark. So for those of you that hear the word earmark out there, this is an earmark and this is a good thing. Uh, this is your tax dollars coming home, doing positive things for the community and for, for America. As I said, the Secretary was on the Appropriations Committee and you couldn't get it through without getting the support of uh, Ray LaHood on appropriations.